Summers on the Mississippi coast are usually the busiest time of year for beaches, local businesses, and restaurants. But that wasn't the case in 2019. The Army Corps of Engineers opened the Bonnie Carey Spillway in February. The decision made history as it was the second time the spillway was opened in less than a year. The impact of the freshwater intruding into the Mississippi Sound was something many Mississippians, including business owners, didn't expect. I've never seen anything like it. We've been in business since 1973. We've never experienced this kind of a hardship. Around the same time, the Mississippi Department of Environmental Quality closed every beach along the coast after an algae bloom began to spread east. Orange flags lined the beach entrances to warn beachgoers. The closures became national news and scared off summer tourists who would usually flock to the coast. That meant a big hit to local businesses, like Sharkhead Souvenirs and Biloxi. And all of a sudden, it was just like we had the plague. And our business, you know, we were running 2 or 3% up, and then we went to like over 30% down the month of July, which is the very best month that we have in the year. We have actually laid people off in July. We've never done that in the history of our companies. J.J. Peritich said that people were afraid of the beaches. They were coming in here scared to death, and they, we'd have people literally that say they're, uh, they're going to check out, go over to Alabama or something. They were just scared to stay here, and they have small children. How do you tell them they can't go in the water? The influx of fresh water from the spillway also killed most of Mississippi's oysters and impacted shrimp and fish dealers. That day was pretty emotional. I mean, just imagine you've been working for like the last 10 months and then just come out there, not even your fault, and then all your oysters are gone. No more harvest, no more nothing. MDEQ also warned people not to eat the seafood from algae affected areas. Jeremy Forte, a seafood dealer helping run his father's business, said that did a lot of damage to the industry. There were plenty of stories about don't eat the seafood and this and that. And it, that definitely affected us because it scared not only from the uh, people coming down here to the beaches and, you know, just looking for seafood, it also affected the restaurants because everyone's scared of the restaurants. You know, once something like that comes out, you, you can't not expect consumers to be concerned with it. Soon after the Bonnie Carey opened, locals began speaking up about concerns for the coast ecosystem and economy. The Sun Herald's Anita Lee has covered a majority of the spillways impacts since the summer. In a Sun Herald community forum, she said it was up to local residents to hold their elected leaders accountable. Folks on the coast are, are really going to have to be responsible for, for getting um, their elected and community leaders to to stand up for Mississippi in this because nobody's listening. Leaders across the coast have called for action and state leaders have also stepped in. We intend to sue the, the Corps for opening the Bonnie Carey Spillway uh, twice this past year and the results are, have devastated our Mississippi Sound. But we intend to hold uh, the federal government responsible uh, for the damages that it has caused to our sound and, and marine life as well as the loss of tourism and all the cost to our, our way of life down here. The coast's way of life is what many locals are hopeful will return in 2020. We have been buying and redoing our stores and getting new product and we just hope that they do not open the Bonnet Carey Spillway again.